Welcome to the Zach Davis Show. This is Zach Davis, and I'll be your host for tonight. We will be interviewing a representative from CORE, the Congress of Racial Equality, asking hard-hitting questions of the 60s, and then my guest is Janice Washington. Thank you so much for having me, Mr. Davis. The pleasure is all mine. Let's hear something about yourself. Well, I'm 23, and I'm married to Maurice Washington, and we have a beautiful daughter named Donna. I think we have a picture of your family here. Yeah, that was on Father's Day. Well, isn't that precious? How can I have the real reasons that you're here about CORE? Okay, well, James Farmer, he built CORE in 1942, and he built it on the idea that everybody should be looked at equally by the government. Uh, and can anyone join the group, or are there special requirements? The only requirement is that you have the same beliefs as CORE. Uh, it's my understanding that CORE has done many protests. Yeah, we were a part of Freedom Rides, the March on Washington, and we even sued a roller rink in protest of them not letting us in. Well, how does the roller rink end up? We actually ended up losing, but that's what put us in the public eye. That's too bad, but I believe we have some footage about the protests. How many deaths will it take to leave that too many people have died? Yeah, that was the March on Washington. I even recognized a few people. Well, those are all the questions I have. Let's go to the audience and see what they have to say. Who influenced CORE? Um, the people that were a big influence on CORE were Mohandas Gandhi and Henry David Thoreau, and we were inspired by their nonviolent ways of dealing with issues. Okay, I have a question. What are the what have been the positive and negative impacts of CORE? So, um, the Voting Rights Act was a positive, positive, it was positive throughout court. Thank you for coming. It's my pleasure. And now we're going to go to Michael Madigan. Yeah. So tell us three facts about court. Alright, well, in addition to James Farmer, there was also Bernice Fisher and George Hauser that were leaders of the group. That's one thing. Uh, another thing is that their name was actually used in a play on words for the Freedom Writers, the book that came out several years ago about a teacher in the inner city in Los Angeles called Freedom Writers. And let's 
see a third fact would be that they were met with severe violence but managed to continue with their push for civil rights. Okay, thank you. It was open to all that believed everyone was created equal. Thank you. Tell us something about poor. They worked for two equality throughout the world. And tell us something about poor. Um, the major influences were Well, it looks like Core has done a great job getting their ideas out to the public. Well, viewers, that's all we have. Good night. Thank you so much for having me, Mr. Davis. <laughs> oh my god. Is it me? Yeah. Okay, ready? Just go. She's going. So, we're for two equality throughout the world. Okay, you're terrible. That was your line. Congress of Racial Equality. Not really. I think Coach. Are you talking about the Apple Corps? No, no.